For the past two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, Valley hospitals have faced staffing shortages. To fill the void, hospitals hired traveling nurses, but it comes with a hefty bill. CBS 47's Medeiros Babb joins us live tonight at St. Agnes Medical Center. And Medeiros, this week those hospitals got an early Christmas present from the state. That's right, Catherine. In fact, many Valley hospitals, including right here at St. Agnes, were told that the extra staffing contracts have been extended until the end of January. And even better, the state is footing the bill. So that was very welcome news. Um, wonderful, you know, kind of respite for our staff to, who have been working tons of overtime and extra shifts. This week, the state of California extending the contracts for traveling nurses and other health care staff at Cahuilla Health, Madeira Community Hospital and St. Agnes until the end of January. The move gives overcapacity hospitals breathing room and less overtime for staff who have worked nonstop over the past two years. Uh, that they've given them enough staff to add uh, at least 20% more beds in their ICUs. The extra state staff have been in the Valley since September, but up until now, the hospitals were responsible for their wages, which Kawia Health CEO Gary Herbst says the state is now picking up. And the first, for the first time during this entire pandemic, the state is actually funding the cost. The gesture doesn't go unnoticed, especially because Fresno County EMS Director Dan Lynch says rates can be as high as $200 an hour. So it's, it's, it's not a cheap, uh, effort that the state has given, but I think the state has recognized that the valley is is uh, in a little bit of a a crunch compared to the rest of the state, and so they've they've committed quite a bit of resources to our valley. Now, COVID-related hospitalizations in the Valley have continued to go down. However, during this time of the year, the hospitals are typically full because this area is underserved when it comes to medical resources. And this year, it's no different. Reporting live in Fresno, Madrid's Bad CBS 47 Eyewitness News.